Hello again. In this video, we're going to explore using the Flight Log section of Airplane Manager for the first time. We'll ensure the proper configuration of your aircraft to track engine hours, and we'll establish the initial hours for your aircraft to accurately calculate totals. Let's begin by logging into your Airplane Manager account. Once inside Airplane Manager, let's configure an aircraft for using our Flight Logs tool for the first time. To do this, navigate to the Aircraft section of our application by selecting Aircrafts from the menu. While we won't cover adding a new aircraft in this video, you can do so within this section of Airplane Manager. Locate the aircraft you wish to set up and then click on Edit. On the following screen, click on Flight Log Settings. In this view, you can select the columns you'll be able to enter data for in your flight logs. Check the box for each engine you need to track hours for. If you're using a maintenance integration like Trexall, Sierra Tracks, or CMP, then you can also enable tracking for engine propellers. You can additionally track hours for auxiliary power units, as well as Hobbs time. For pilots, there are other options such as passenger count, distance traveled, and block times. If you wish to monitor other miscellaneous information, you can add up to two more columns and label them using the miscellaneous column options. Once you have your columns set as needed, you can return to the calendar and select a flight to begin adding flight log information. When you're in the flight view, click on flight log at the top. If you've added a miscellaneous column, you should see it displayed with the default options. Our next step involves setting the aircraft forward override, which enables you to input existing flight hours, landings, cycles, and more for the aircraft and its components. Fill in these details according to your aircraft. If you're using one of our maintenance integrations, clicking Update Serial Numbers and completing the fields on this form will help track part hours with these external tools. When done, click Save. You're now ready to start monitoring hours and other relevant data for your aircraft. Let's fill out the flight log for this leg. Once you've completed a flight log for a leg, the leg's totals will be added to your aircraft forward override values below in the aircraft totals table. When you view the aircraft log summary table, you'll notice orange text on the forward line, signifying that the aircraft forward override was filled out for that flight. Now let's explore another useful area. Click on reports in the navigation menu, then choose aircraft, and finally, flight log by leg. This allows you to review all flight logs filed for a specific aircraft within a selected date range. By clicking on a flight log in this view, you can expand it to see its details and check for any errors. There might be instances where a maintenance integration generates an error due to hours in the flight log being different than what the integration has been tracking. You should be able to identify any incorrect values that were input previously by reviewing this report. That concludes our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us as we delved into the flight log tools of Airplane Manager. We look forward to connecting with you soon.